Members of Congress, including Oklahoma's lawmakers, are pledging full support for Israel as they deal with terrorist attacks. They are also calling out the country of Iran for what many see as being complicit in Hamas's attack on October 7th. Alex Cameron has the latest from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. Well, Republicans in particular are pointing the finger at Iran and say that the Biden administration's, quote, policy of appeasement has enabled Iran to bolster its support for Hamas and other terrorist organizations. The administration can no longer wish away the Iranian threat or attempt to appease the Iranians as they have. The Biden administration's appeasement policy of Iran has to stop. Republican senators held a news conference today to affirm America's support for Israel. This kind of brutality, simply because someone is Jewish, is not only heinous. And also to urge the administration to reimpose Trump-era sanctions and thereby diminish Iran's ability to finance terrorism. So what President Biden's doing now to be able to say we stand with Israel is positive, but he needs to back that up by also putting pressure back on Iran to make sure this stops. Langford also wants to stop the spread of disinformation, such as the initial claim, he says, that Israel was to blame for yesterday's deadly hospital explosion. We now know factually is not true as the information has come out that it wasn't Israel bombing a hospital. It's actually terrorists that are actually launching rockets towards civilians in Israel, that one of their rockets instead went straight down into Gaza and killed all those people. The senators all support providing additional aid to Israel. Oklahoma's Mark Wayne Mullen says the conflict won't be over quickly, so... We're going to financially be pumping money into Israel before long, so what we're saying is let's get ahead of this. And perhaps the real question now is can the House elect a speaker in time to approve the aid that members are so determined to provide? In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.